You know, what is the state of Africa as I speak now? What is the state of your continent as we speak now? Because of our disunity, because when we are disunited, then it is good for Europe and America. And China progressively. Look at the state of your continent as I speak. Conflicts of one kind or another. I'll name the countries just for you to know how bad it is, because that is how it is. Go to northern Mozambique. The gas that is there cannot be produced because there is conflict. Northern Mozambique. Go to Somalia. Conflict. Here, in your motherland. Conflict. Go to South Sudan, conflict. Go to Sudan, conflict. Go to Libya, conflict. Go to Central African Republic, conflict. Go to the Democratic Republic of Congo, conflict. Go to Burkina Faso, conflict. Go to Mali, conflict. Go to Chad, conflict. Go to Niger, conflict. Go to Cameroon, conflict. Go to Nigeria, conflict. Do I go on? That is the state of the continent. So that even when we talk about intercontinental trade, you tell me, can you drive from Addis Ababa to Dhaka in Senegal? Unless you are daredevil himself. Which group will not kidnap or ambush you? That is the state of the continent because we are weak and disunited. I fly from Nairobi, Kenya for one and a half hours. I come from the shilling zone. I go into the beer. 33 currencies in Africa. 33 currencies. None of which is used to conclude transactions anywhere. I come to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and I show my shilling. They say, what is this? But let me show the dollar. Oh, this is it. Let me show the euro. This is it. 80% of transactions in Africa are concluded outside of the continent in dollars. So you may have the central bank of the federal bank of Ethiopia or oh, Mickey Mouse. You may have the central bank of Kenya, Mickey Mouse. You may have all these 54 central banks useless because we are not playing in the real league. We are playing in the small league. That is why when the Chinese president summons all our president and they summon them, the letters may be polite, but his summons, they go to Beijing, tails between their legs, and they are told. Then the Chinese president gives, them, gives Africa $60 billion. $60 billion. What is $60 billion? George Bezos has more than that given to a whole continent.